Okay. I just ordered this Siri tripod from Amazon. Just saw that it had a lot of amazing reviews. And since I'm going to Southeast Asia in December, I thought I'll try out a new selfie stick that will probably replace my good old Gorilla stick. I mean, it's nice, but a lot of the times it falls apart. And if you're not, and it hasn't been such a good reliable as uh, Gorilla stick. So thought I'll try this out. Let's open it up. And this is the first time I'm opening it. So let's see what it's like. You guys are gonna be just as surprised as I am and we'll go through it together. Ooh. Let's open it. Oh la la, looks like it comes with its own bag. Right, let's see what's in the bag. I like that it has this little carry pouch. It's really nice because if you're traveling and you need to pack it out in your backpack, this is very nice and easy. Plus it makes you look fancy. Okay, looks like in the pouch, we've got a pouch. We've got the tripod. We've got little instructions with an Allen key and two carabiners. And then we've got this, looks like this was an ex, oh, it's not a whistle. It might be an extender. Nah. All right, let's see. Nice. So it looks like it has three legs that open up. Let's see. No. Oh, okay. So it's got this little clicky thing down here, which you twist. If you hear it, listen, well, you see it clicking. Click, 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 tick tock. So once you click that, you can open up the legs and sit it down. Awesome. But once that's open up, let's see what else it can do. Oh, looks, yep, it does extend. Looks like this little piece here is one of these which go here, so it'll make it twice as tall. Now the very top, one thing I, the reason why I also ordered this was because it has a ball joint at the top. So it looks like you, you just knob to loosen it so you can move it around and you can tighten it. And then close the legs up and voila. You've got a selfie stick right there so you can hold it out like this if you want to. Now let's compare to my old Gorilla stick. That's the difference of how they are. Okay, selfie stick, so. Right, let's see what else it can do. Has a nice dirty feel. I like that it has rubber at the very bottom here. So with the rubber, you can actually have good grip uh, no matter what surface you're on. So it's not gonna slide anywhere. And you can bring it up and tighten it or loosen it and bring it down. It has these dials down here at the very bottom. I have no idea what they are. I'm probably not gonna ever use them. They seem to have like degrees, 180, 160. Psh, never gonna use them. Uh, it has a release here for attaching your camera. So this little piece here attaches to your camera. I wonder how sturdy it will be. And it slides right here. So why don't we switch from that tripod to this one and see how it works as a selfie stick. Now I have this um, tripod on a Canon EOS M3 with a Sigma lens, 18 to 35 millimeter lens. And you can kind of see how big it all looks. It is kind of very heavy right now. It's made out of metal, so my hand, yeah, my hand is kind of getting tired compared to having it on a tiny compact point and shoot. And I will say that looking at it right here, um, the reason why it's also heavy is because the Sigma is a very heavy lens. Now, if you have this on a tiny little point and shoot, like say maybe a Sony RX 100 Mark III, Mark IV, or the Canon, then your hands won't get tired. Now it's made out of all metal and the only problem with this is you have to kind of be very careful when you are trying to adjust this because the ball points and the metal points are very touchy. There's so many places to adjust it that eventually it's gonna give way because of the weight from the lens. So let's walk around and see what it looks like. Can I walk around our messy house? 
I haven't cleaned today. I haven't done my duties as a domesticated husband. The transitioning, you can kind of see the length that it's taken from my background and everything around me here. So this is, I guess, bedroom. You can see what it's like. And I would say I'm getting a little tired holding this. Let's keep walking around and see what it's like. Da, 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 da. It's starting to get a little wobbly, mainly because the weight, again. I love this, it's really amazing, but if I can get a much lighter camera on this, I'll be a whole lot happier. So yeah, you got a feel for it. After using this, um, this tripod for a little bit, I will say that I do like it. It's not too bad. Um, the little key that they give you, <laughs> in addition to taking, you need this little Allen key, hexagon key, in order to connect this little piece to your camera is an additional thing, but I usually just carry a little penny along with me and it solves it, it's not too bad. The ball joint is not too bad either. I will say that if you're putting um, any sort of Sigma lens or any Canon lens that's very heavy, it, would, it will start to feel very heavy in your hand after a while. So overall, it's very sturdy. I like it and I'm probably gonna try this out in our next Southeast Asia show. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if this video helped you out, please hit the subscribe button or like button. And um, I'll probably try and bring more reviews of products that I use on my trips to you guys. So thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.